Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Here we have two Innovation Point figures. We have the Action Q Lord Draken figure, and we have the Metal Power Thunder Megazord. I am very excited uh, for that. Shout out to Big Bad Toy Store for sending these out to me. Uh, links in the video description below to get these inno Innovation Point figures. They are currently in stock now, and I am excited to check these out for you guys. The Lord Draken Action Q figure. It's a fun little figure, something different for the collection. But the Thunder Megazord is a die-cast metal action figure of the Thunder Thunder Megazord, something that I wish we would get more of is these actual Megazords fully combined, and I'm okay with that, fully combined, fully articulated with all the detail and everything like that, and here we have it, and I cannot be more excited, so let's go ahead and get these figures out of the package and take a closer look. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of highlight how well packaged this thing is. So we have our accessories and everything here clearly displayed in there for you. And then we have our Thunder Megazord figure safe um, tucked away in that styrofoam box. Okay, so here is the Thunder Megazord. It's actually on this little like display stand, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of get him into some uh, jumping poses and things like that. As you can see, he's uh, wielding his sword there. Uh, so pretty awesome piece. Tons of articulation and lots of metal on this thing. Like all the joints and, and points of articulation are actually metal. So this thing stays pretty sturdy and the accessories are really cool too. So we're going to take a look at the Thunder Megazord first and then we're going to take a look at the cool little Lord Draken figure that right here. And this thing is a whole lot of fun. <laughs> so I'm um, having a kick with that. But the Thunder Megazord is pretty incredible. So we're going to take a look at him first um, and get right into it. Let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. Okay, so here is an up-close look at the Thunder Megazord. Uh, here you can see that these large shoulder pads, these were like the legs or feet part to the Lion Thunder Zord. Um, these pieces are plastic, so really on the figure where you're going to see the metals going to be on all these like die-cast um, articulated points. So like the knees, the elbows and stuff in there, that is all like, that's where the metal and the die-cast is, so, which is really cool. The details on this thing are absolutely incredible. Just look at all the details. It's like... It's like the the Thunder Megazord. Like when I think back when I was a kid, you throw in all the nostalgia of the Thunder Megazord. You know, I had I had the toy, I had the Zords, and they combined and everything. It, it was pretty awesome. But you can never really get these crazy details on kids' toys. Um, with this being an adult collectible, it really brings it up to a whole other level, which is just absolutely incredible. So, like taking a look at it, it's a it's a seven inch figure. Um, about seven inches, so it's going to be bigger than like Power Rangers Lightning Collection and stuff, but um, just absolutely detailed, incredible, and good points of articulation kind of throughout. Now, it doesn't like if we think of like the the Zord, the Megazord figures that have come out. There hasn't been a lot that are highly articulated that don't combine. Like Super Seven did an amazing Dino Megazord, which truly looks like a person in a suit come to life. Whereas this interpretation of the Thunder Megazord is more about the Zord itself and not the aesthetic where they add in the articulation so it can move around. You could get into some really good poses and things like that. So you know it is thin in like the waistline and the legs and stuff like that. So it's not true to what we see on screen in terms terms of you know somebody in a suit fighting um but when we want a highly articulated action figure that can move around really good this is the end result of what we get and i think it still looks absolutely incredible um so looking at it again the details are awesome i mean look at the lion head there the unicorn and the griffin really really good then you got the firebird back there um and then of course you're not going to see the head well i guess that's the head that would be the head to the, the red dragon right uh, but just incredible. I, I just love the details of it. And again, the points of articulation are crazy. So when we go over the articulation, it's going to be nuts. I want to show you guys uh, some of the accessories real quick. And the really cool thing about the accessories is like the sword and the sheath to the sword is actually magnetic. So here we have the sheath. I mean, look at the details in the sheath. Just incredible the paintwork is amazing as well. We get that chain there and you notice that chains bunched up. There is a magnet in there which really holds that chain but the magnet feature is so you can get the sheath the sword on the hip there for the thunder megazord how incredible is that i love that detail okay so one thing about the sheath and the sword which is pretty cool that the sword itself is just a kind of a mock-up dummy sword so you could place it in there and look like the sheath uh the sword is in the sheath we get a separate 
actual sword, because as you can see with the way the blade is, there's no way you could actually fit it into the sheath safely without, you know, kind of messing it up. Um, nice silver blade in there. It is plastic, so again, the die cast on the figure is really just in those points of articulation. Uh, but the die cast on it looks really good. The paintwork is really nice, as you can see there. Uh, we also get the staff here. So nice gold paint there. Kind of gold paint throughout, which is really good. And that is really pointy. I just kind of poked myself. So you want to be careful with that. Uh, but that looks really good there. I will tell you, though, it is difficult to get him to grip on there. So be very careful with uh, the hands getting to, to grip on there. And speaking of hands, we got a bunch of hands. So we get uh, the sword-wielding hands. Where is the other one? We get a pair of the sword-wielding hands, as you can see there. We have a pair of these hands with the fingers kind of... Uh, you know, spread out there, just open hands. We have the fists that are on the figure itself. Uh, then we get these um, hands here with the two fingers out, so kind of the gesturing hands there. Whoops. Uh, we get two additional grip hands here. And then we have these two relaxed open hands there. Uh, and then we have the stand, so a lot of accessories for the Thunder Megazord. Now let's go ahead and check out the Lord Draken. Really switching gears here when it comes to the Lord Draken. We, we have a highly uh, articulated, detailed, collectible figure. And then we move to the Action Q Lord Draken. And this is just more of a fun little figure. And you know what? It is a whole lot of fun. It's got this display stand on there, which is pretty cool. And then he has two extra sets of hands. So I already swapped one out. But he's got... Uh, he's got fists, the left and right fist. He's got a left and a right grip hand. As you can see, I already have the uh, <clears throat> the dragon flute on there, uh, the dagger. And then we have kind of these open, uh, relaxed hands there. But the dragon dagger itself is really cool. It's fairly soft, uh, but it's got some nice detail to it, um, as you can see there. So I really like the way it looks there. And then looking at Lord Draken, looking at that power morpher there with the power coin. Uh, looks really cool. So again, he he is just a whole lot of fun. Let me get him off the stand. He's got a lot of points of articulation, uh, which is really good. You know, we got double jointed like elbows uh, or single jointed elbows, but we got double jointed knees on this guy. So he is a whole lot of fun. We'll get to the articulation when we look at both figures' articulations. Um, it's got the sheath for the dragon dagger there, and just looks really good it's just a whole lot of fun so when you have you know little figures like this um in your collection you know obviously they're not true to screen or anything like that but or true to the comic pages excuse me um but sometimes just all about having fun and enjoying the figure itself and you know when you really like a character and you could do it so there we have that there so now let's go ahead and get to the articulation for both Okay, so we're going to take a look at Draken uh, first. So the head is on like a ball joint swivel, so you can move the head around. You can swivel it around, no problem there. Look down, look up. Uh, uh, can't really look up. There, the shoulder you can get to go straight on out. You can move around. Um, that You got that shield kind of in the way, befriending you from getting the kind of the full rotation. You got a swivel at the elbow, um, and then you get single joint at the elbow. Gives you just about 90 degrees. The hands, are the wrists are on a uh, ball peg. Um, there so you can move them around pr pretty easily uh, there you don't get a huge range of motion but that's okay you can get a tilt on Draken at the diaphragm there you can get him to move back you can get him to move forward as well so that is really good you also get a swivel at that diaphragm there legs go out that far apart he can kick forward that far which is good the leg doesn't really go back you got a little bit of some swivel oh there we go full thigh swivel in there double jointed knee Really nice bend at the knee, as you can see there. Uh, you can swivel that foot around. There's no hinge to the foot. Uh, there's no pivot or anything like that, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, there's some give to it, so that works. But again, just a really fun figure to, to play around with, as you can see there. So a whole lot of fun when it comes to the Action Q Lord Draken by Innovation Point. But... The big highlight is the Thunder Megazord and what the Thunder Megazord could do. Because again, this is all about having a Megazord that's fully articulated. You know, when you have the other ones that combine, they don't get to really move around a whole lot. Whereas this one has huge range of motion. You have these big shoulder pads there so you can kind of adjust and move around as needed. Um, there's some give to it, as you can see there. The head, you can swivel around, you can look down, you can look, you can get him to kind of look up, not a whole lot, and you get some pivot and things going on in there, which is great. Uh, the arm, you can get the arm to go out that much. Now, realistically, that's not a whole lot, but I mean, 
given the 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 soup design and everything that's not too that's not too bad so that much there uh you can get a full swivel in that arm as well there's somewhat of a butterfly as you could see there you can get it to come forward a little bit as you could see uh you have a swivel there at the forearm uh you have a double jointed elbow gives you that much bend at the elbow wrist swivel well they're on a ball peg so you can move the the hands around um you know kind of as you need uh the, the in terms of the torso there is a little bit of a rocker here at the top and then here at the waist you also get to crunch forward a little bit um i'm starting to use the hips there just so you can crunch forward a little bit with just the torso you can go back a little bit as well if you want to start incorporating the hips you can get them to go down um, a lot further as well the legs you can do full splits with the legs which are incredible and these legs are heavy i tell you we get a swivel in there a little bit as well you get a double jointed knee keep in mind you got some moving pieces that will need to kind of adjust but you get that double jointed knee these heads on the legs move uh well i guess just the griffin moves a little bit the unicorn not as much give uh foot hinges all the way down as you could see there you can hinge it up slightly the toe portion does have a little bit of movement in there as well and you got some pivot in there so a good range of motion we got metal at the bottom of the feet so good range of motion in there and again some of the moving parts like the lion head moves the firebird you know skirt piece kind of moves around so you can kind of adjust as needed again there is a magnet piece in there for the sheath which is the really nice touch so you can get it to hold in there keep in mind i have the chain wrapped around but uh really cool that we can do that um so yeah you know again these pieces kind of move around so it's pretty awesome you know really good articulation because we don't get megazords that can move around like this um so when we see it and we have it it's just pretty amazing and a whole lot of fun you know going a little bit further which is pretty crazy with the articulation there is a waist swivel in there and i, I did not mention that earlier but like the way you can kick the leg out and you know bend the knees and stuff you can kind of really get uh the thunder megazord into a crouching pose like that which is pretty awesome Okay, so we go ahead and get into some side-by-side -side comparisons. Here we have the uh, Hasbro Walmart exclusive, the VHS uh, Thunder Megazord, as you can see. Not a whole lot of paint details, very little articulation. We have the Super 7 Dino Megazord, so you can see, you know, the different aesthetic design choices. So Super 7s really replicates a person in a suit um, from the, the TV series, whereas this Thunder Megazord by Metal Power Innovation Point um, is all about the articulation and the details and getting it to move around, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, with Power Rangers, there's all kinds of toys and everything. There has not been a lot of Thunder Megazords, which is really cool to be able to see something like this. I'd love to see like a, a White Tiger Zord um, or something also come out of it. But what I would really love is these highly articulated Megazord figures. I'd love to see more of those get made. And maybe Innovation Point will we'll do more in the future. I don't really know. Uh, I'm not as familiar with them. So, you know, hopefully we'll see what the future holds. Um, and hopefully we can get some more uh, articulated Megazord figures. Okay, another comparison. We have Prontus Head and the Lightning Collection, uh, Lord Draken. Uh, Prontus Head and Thunder Megazord did battle it out, as you can see. Scale-wise, it's pretty close. I would say they're probably about the same, which works really well. So you can have them in scale when you look at it there. Um, I think that could really work out well. And then Lord Draken. Let's go ahead and do a Lord Draken and Lord Draken side-by-side -side comparison. And you can see, um, not quite as tall, but all the details are there in terms of the design of his Ranger costume his suit and everything like that. Um, so again, just the action cue figure by Innovation Point. Um, it's just a fun little figure to have in your collection. So if you just wanna you know, change it up as opposed to the things that are like um, authentically scaled and, and, and accurate and everything to just have something that's just fun to play with and fun to have around um, in your collection. If you know, for the characters that you really love um, and you wanna really have them you know, at the forefront of, on display or for play, um, there you have it. So again, the Innovation Point figures, um, Power Rangers figures. We have the Thunder Megazord and the Lord Draken there. Uh, they are both available on BigBadToyStore.com. So link in the video description below if you're interested in picking these up. Again, big shout out and thank you to Big Bad Toy Store. Um, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.